nothing really to see around here. Okay, we changed. Guys, we have to talk a little bit about these incredible sweaters. As you know, the ugly sweater thing is now a thing. When it comes to the holiday season, it used to be we made fun of that aunt, but now we all want to be her. So, um, we've all got ugly sweaters uh, from retrofestive.ca. Mine has some suspenders, thank you very much. Even on the back. Oh. Right? I love it. Can you show us your... My Pretty ugly sweater. Santa is riding a unicorn. <laughs> and I decided to add some head headpiece too. To it's it. very subtle. <laughs> Makes me feel like I have hair for a change. <laughs> I really like it. A humongous bow. All right, Tim. Talking about humongous bows, uh, I've got one right across. I'm a present. You're a present. And there's a little tag spot here to put the two in from, which slays Ooh. me. But this is just the best. I've always wanted a gold LeMay bow. Like, look, I'm wearing it. Of course you have. Okay, mine's a little shout out to Elf, which is our favorite Christmas movie in our house and it's the narwhal hoping that buddy finds his dad i think it's hilarious. hi buddy hope right? you find your dad yeah. he's adorable he does not i'm still your spoiler crazy alert. aunt <laughs> <laughs> shake it shake it oh i love the cats yours wins i love it if you're loving them uh and who doesn't you'll be happy to know that after the show we are going to draw for a selection of these amazing ugly sweaters <laughs> Ladies worked so hard um, on the trees that we showed off the top of the show, and you did such an amazing job. So today was the kickoff to our holiday gift guide giveaway, and Home Depot is celebrating the spirit of giving as well. So each gorgeous tree is being donated to a charity. Isn't that lovely? All of your hard work. I think that's amazing. A huge thank you to you guys uh, and the Home Depot, the Red Door Family Shelter, the Sancta Maria House, and Horizons for Youth will each receive a tree. Wow. It's really nice when you can make someone's seasons just a little bit brighter by adding something like this in. So I think that's great. Okay, well, speaking of the holidays, we've talked a lot about gift and we've done gift guides and everything like that. I want to know if you can remember in your head your best or worst Christmas gift. I remember my best and it will always be the Barbie camper. <gasps> like yes. when you get the Barbie oh camper, yeah. so that was an amazing gift. And I said, if I just get this Barbie camper, I will never want a gift again for the rest of my life. And I did. I wanted more gifts next Christmas. <laughs> I really did. But it was the best gift ever. How about you? Best or worst? Best. My dad built me a townhouse for my Barbie doll. She wanted a very luxurious <gasps> one. Oh That's amazing. Gosh. Worst though, a new boyfriend's mom bought me lingerie. Oh. And I at best with dating, oh, so that was just like, oh, oh my uh, gosh. Right? You really fix your face when you open that package, oh, huh? I ended it like soon after. <laughs> <Gross. laughs> Tiffany? <How> you, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my, uh, best was, I want, I saw this brass, this is the, you know, 80s, 90s brass dresser. Yeah. I wanted to sit at this little brass dresser and do my makeup and hair every morning. Oh yeah. When I got that dresser. I couldn't even open the gift. I couldn't contain myself. I bawled my eyes out. Oh my gosh. Um, and then worse, my mother buys us matching pajamas every year. I love that. And then my sisters <laughs> are wearing pajamas. I, I and think then that's I get great. Three pairs every year. Okay, I, somebody's I gonna.